Well, well, well. If you wonder why I am starting off to play as Kiwara here, the the twin tailed cat girl here. Welcome to Feline Fortress Furtacy. If that's how you say it. An eight day event where it's all about cats. And you get to keep certain furnishings and pets as well. For furnishing as well. So, let me give this a little read. Your recent travels have been... You and Paimon encounter all manners of strange creatures, but inferior factors. Paimon would still like to have some fun with cats. As such, you would tend to return to Mondstadt and drop by by the cat's tail. So... Exactly. You're excited too. Oh, looks like Margaret is talking with those two people over there. Wait, is that Rosaria? Huh. She's standing next to an adventurer Paimon doesn't recognize. Yeah, it's been a while since I've seen Rosaria. I had her um, sometime and I liked her abilities, but... Um, you think she's also here to play some cards or cats? Not too sure. Say no more, Valerina. I'll continue to help you out just as Victoria requested. Look after the cats, check up on their health, give them a bath. These are all things well within my capabilities. That doesn't solve our biggest problem though, Miss Rosaria. The cats have been so anxious. If we can't get them to trust us, they're sure to get sick from all the anxiety. We just opened, and the Furball Fortress is already about to go under. What the heck is a Furball Fortress? Also, what is wrong with the cats? Well, panicking certainly isn't going to solve the problem. The fact is, neither of us has a way with cats. That's not something I can change. Hi, Rosaria! And hello to you too, Miss Adventurer! Sounds like you're all really worried about something. Our cat saviors! They've appeared already! <laughs> well, I am where I have one cat equipped on my, my roster, but being cat saviors? Wow. Uh, saviors? a bit sudden considering we just met. Sounds like a title we'll have to live up to, but I smell a commission coming. I'll try to keep it short. My name's Valerina, and I really like small animals. Recently, I've been trying to set up a shelter for stray cats. I call it the Furball Fortress. I, I think it's the name only adventurers would ever name it if they want to take care of pets, but Furball Fortress. It sounds like a fortress of cats are ready to attack monsters anytime soon. I'm not sure why, why, why am I even commenting on this one. I thought it would be a good way to rescue those poor animals that have nowhere to go. Plus, getting them off the streets will improve the overall environment and look at the city. It's a win-win. The sisters over at the church heard about my plans and sent over the kindly Miss Rosaria to help. Kindly is a big word for uh, Rosaria, but eh, she just wants to sleep. I wouldn't exactly describe myself as kindly. I just accepted the assignment from Victoria. After all, I was the only one with any knowledge of medicine, or the spare time to help. Well, it seems like you've got quite the plan, Valerina. Thanks for bringing us up to speed. So, what had you so worried just now? Are you short on Mora? Are you missing something you need? No, I've got more than enough Mora. The funds, the location, the supplies, all the various procedures, they've all been settled. The main problem is, um, the cats. They, uh, keep swatting at me. Do you think that the cats don't like you? Are you bad with cats? They're always hissing and swatting. They won't let me approach them, not even with treats. <sighs> the cats are afraid of me as well. They run away the minute I'm in the vicinity. I think it's more than cats that are afraid of you. Everything around you is afraid of you, and I drop my phone. And everything is afraid of you, Rosa. You're scary as hell. Oh, I might have heard something like this before. There's something about certain people that just makes cats afraid. Huh. The kind-hearted cat rescuer who doesn't get along with cats. Hmm. Seems like just visiting the cat's tail would be enough to leave you flustered, let alone running your own cat shelter. That's why we consulted an expert. But Miss Margaret wasn't able to offer a solution to our problem. 
She's short on workers, so she couldn't spare anyone to help us either. She did give us one piece of advice, though. To enlist the help of the Honorary Knight and their trusty helper in white. Why do we have a feeling that every time when Mondstadtins have one problem, they just say, Well, oh, just just, just uh, call upon Traveler and Paimon. Yeah, uh, they'll solve everything. We had just wrapped up our conversation, and the next thing we knew, you two appeared before us like saviors sent by Lord Barbados himself. Well, Paimon's not sure how much Lord Barbados would know about taking care of cats. But that aside, we've never even worked at a shelter before, but somehow we've been turned into the saviors of the entire operation. It's perfect timing, though, no? Or we were just talking about playing with cats. Well, that's true. Even if Paimon has no experience working at a shelter, she's confident she can get on their good side just fine. Like, that's all we need to do here, right? We just need to show Valerina and Rosaria how to get friendly with the cats, and everything else should fall into line! Feel free to focus your efforts on Valerina. Just call me if any of the cats need medical attention. Hmm. If you all can keep the shelter running with minimal effort on my part, this errand might turn out to be a good use of my time after all. It's better than church activities in any case. Skipping church is what she wants to do. Also, I smell a management mechanic going on. It's time to manage some cats. Ah, so that's why you agreed to help. You just wanted to shirk your church duties. Well, I guess I should show you around first. Follow me, you two. Let's make our way to the Furball Fortress. <laughs> oh, look at this. Oh. Looks a little empty. Why is there a harp? It's just a regular house. Oh, gotta say, Pyro was expecting something a little bigger with Fortress in the name and everything. I don't think she actually considered the, the naming when she actually built the place. Also, there's a harp. Why would cats want to play a harp? This was the biggest space I could find in the city over the past few weeks. The rent is cheap, so that's a plus. A half a year's worth of rent, along with all the cat's tail-inspired furnishings, only cost me a few million mora. Of course, not all of the cats will be staying indefinitely. We plan to offer some of the healthy ones up for adoption. As long as the new future owners prove capable and the cat seems like a good fit, they're welcome to take their new pet back to a loving home. This location is definitely good enough. We could even expand the business one day and start sheltering stray dogs, foxes, or even squirrels. When that day comes, though, I'll probably have to think of a different name. Huh, maybe the... Furball and Friends Fortress would be a better fit. <laughs> I would suggest letting all of this play out first. You still don't know if the customers will even get along with the strays. Huh? Look over there! That cat is staring at us! Oh, I do look to love cats and dogs. They almost love me. For no reason, but cats are cute. Oh, it's the little white cat. She's super afraid of people. She ran away when we tried to give her a bath. It took us forever to track her down again. She looks so soft and clean, and her fur is so white and fluffy, just like fresh fallen snow. Wait, that's perfect! We should call her Snowball! Yeah, it's a perfect fit, but I think Tofu would be a good fit. Pudding is some bad choice user. I think Tofu. Ooh, those are some good names, Traveler, but Paimon thinks she likes Snowball best. Here, kitty, kitty. That's it, Snowball. Good kitty. That's a good kitty. I think the cat's gonna swipe Paimon. <laughs> she, do it don't look too pleased. It, it's been what a minute, <gasps> and you already got the cat to listen to you. Did you see that, Miss Rosaria? She's practically a miracle worker. You really are a cat whisperer. Wait, only cats like Paimon, and me. <laughs> Wow, it hasn't been a few minutes and we're already getting along with the cats and the strays. That's something. Aw, uh, that was nothing. They may be strays, but as long as you give them a good name and call them with love, you're sure to gain their trust eventually. First things first, though, you gotta pay attention to the way you interact with them. 
Um, how should Paimon put it? Basically, it all comes down to your demeanor. For example, you can't just stand there trembling in fear, Ballerina. If you're afraid, the cats are sure to become afraid as well. As for you, Rosaria, you might want to keep an eye on your, uh, facial expressions. These poor creatures, picked up off the streets, given a name, and they now have a loving home. Fate is kind to even the lost souls who have wandered astray. What the hell is wrong with you? This city really has brought peace and happiness to us all. <gasps> oh, it approaches. Hey, Snowball is snuggling up to Rosaria. Looks like she's not afraid of her anymore. That's a first, and it's so adorable. Did Rosaria just smile? I saw it too. We should pretend like we didn't see anything. <laughs> <laughs> no matter. There are more important things to focus on. Anyway, it's getting a bit stuffy in here. I I'm going to go get some air. Call me if you need me. I'm going to call this, but Rosalia would end up getting snuggled, snuggled by many cats. Like a cat suit, or whatever you call it. Then she'll just sleep on these cats. I don't know why. I just pitched it. Huh. Paimon thought Rosaria would be happier about that. Please, teach me more of your ways, honorary knight. And you too, oh great cat whisperer. <laughs> We're sure to get more and more strays coming to the Furball Fortress. And I doubt all of them will be as friendly as Snowball. There's still so much I don't know about interacting with them. Problem. Just watch and learn. It's about time we move on to a more advanced lesson. How to get the cats not to just trust you, but to like you. It's all about patience. As long as you put in the effort to get to know them, you'll become best friends in no time. I completely understand. The Furball Fortress is still in its trial phase. So the more I can learn at this stage, the better. All right. Look at this. You must make take various requirements into consideration when setting up your fluffy feline home, such as confidence, durability, and aesthetics. You are required to select one subtle, suitable furnishing of each type in such a way that the overall area fits the three attribute requirements exactly, no more, no less. The icon of the furnishing primary attribute will be displayed in the upper left corner of the interface. In addition to the main attribute, it will also provide a small amount of other attributes. There is only one unique combination of furnishings that furnishes the attributes needed to complete the challenge, and the furnishings that com comprise that combination have appearances that comp complement each other to the best. After you've completed your fluffy feline home setup, you can place food into cat food bowl to, acknowledge, to be acknowledged by the cats. After you have fed the cat, you can call the corresponding cat at the throne of Yower <laughs> or invite it to play directly. Alright. Let's figure this out. For that, I want to check the event page. Alright, so we got day one, day two, day three, day four, day five. We can decorate the feline home. Let's go with this. Okay, so cuffiness, gentleness, let's see. Hmm. This is durability, I think. Oh, uh, there are certain combinations of it as well, so. Doesn't look too much. A little too much. Hmm. This is gonna be a while. Hmm. Yeah, there we go. I think I got it. Alright. Play with cat after what? Feeding it? Hmm, any kind of food. I got more chicken, so might as well just feed a chicken. 
Oh, look at this! Hang on, hang on, hang on. I gotta get it. I gotta get the camera. Give me a moment. Give me a moment. Give me a moment. Oh, look at this! Oh, look at that! Oh, I'm gonna save it in my in my freaking thing because it looks absolutely dwarfs. All right. Place another decoration. Let's see. Uh, reminder. I hate using <laughs> reminder. So, uh, too much, too much, too much, too much. We need a little comfort, I think. No. Um, aesthetics, I think. Mostly aesthetics. Got durability. I think that. <sighs> I think we might got too much of it though. Hmm. There we go. I didn't need a hint. <laughs> Did not need a hint. Alright, let's play with the cat. Let's feed you the fish. I really didn't want to feed the fish. A great white cat, and a giant rabbit. Oh, let's play. Alright, you can select the cat from the throne of Meowware, or directly invite a cat to come and play. The cat's friendship levels are as follows trusted, cherished, and inseparable. Eight, the eight points where you can pet the cat are the right ear, left ear, the face, lower body, upper body, tail, right paw, left paw. Different cats have their own preferences for where they wish to be petted. Press in order to pet the cat. If you pet right where the cat likes it, it its friendliness to you will increase, but this value will remain the same or even decrease should you pet a spot that displeases the feline. Repeatedly petting the same part of the cat will cause friendliness to increase by less and less. Repeating it no longer increases at all. Until it... Until it... Ugh. As such, you must adjust your approach and pet the cat in different spots. After you've switched up the places where you are petting it a certain number of times, the cat's rate of friendliness will increase will reset across all the body parts it likes to be petted. Once the cat's friendship level increased to the next stage, areas where it did not enjoy being petted may change, and it may now permit you to pet the cat in new places. Use your keen observation to get along with them now. Ay ay ay. Um. All right. So where would you like to be petted? Here. Oh. How about the left ear? Oh. You mean you the face? Oh yeah. Oh, no, it doesn't let the call. Okay, okay. Tail? Okay, okay. The ears and face. And the chest, too. <laughs> okay. Ooh. Oh. <laughs> okay. You like, you like the chest more. You have reached cherished friendship. Okay, let's play the rewards. I want to pet you more. Oh, I just want to pet you more. Yes, I pet you more. And... Right, Paul? Okay, okay, okay. Okay, okay, okay. This is actually... Hmm... Okay. Looks like I can't pet you anymore. I was almost there. Inseparable. A Amber? So you named this bunny.
Okay, so... Oh, so... What is this? Uh, bunnies hopping... Oh, I'm fresh, but cherished. Reach cherished for levels to bunny to obtain, so let's look at this. Eh, uh, I haven't played... I haven't done snowballs thing, but... I guess that's how you th work on it. So each... So there's a cat that unlocks it for every couple of hours, maybe a day, or two days. It's not days, days. It's literally just cats being unlocked within a certain days. So three, all these will just be unlocked in three days, I think. We've already gotten to a certain amount of friendship levels with this one. We haven't yet to do this, this one as well. And I think that's all you have to do is just pick a certain aesthetic, certain decorations that meets all the requirements. And you have to pet the kitten or cat in a certain way. Which is going to be a good challenge, I guess. All in all. And I think that's actually a good, a relaxing quest. It's just something I never thought of. Would work in Genshin. Okay, I just got done playing with Snowball here, and up here's Mona. Let's see what the conversation looks like. Meow. Is this really how cats greet one another? I wonder if my pronunciation is on point. Looks like Snowball didn't understand a whisker. <laughs> Are you trying to speak cat? <laughs> Professor Magistus, that is not how you pronounce it. That's okay, take your time. There are many more furry felines in this fortress. That's what you say, take your time. That's what I'm gonna do. Yeah, Valeria said that she'll adopt even more strays in the future. So even if the no cats catch your eye today, you can always check back and opt into play and have a look. Woodwork in Genshin. Anyway, thank you all for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed this little video. And I was hoping it'd be not too long, but I talk a lot. <clears throat> really. I just play cutscenes and all that stuff. And if you enjoyed the video, please let me know in the comments or click the like button. And if you guys are new to the channel or just came back to the channel, um, please be sure to support my channel by subscribing to my channel for now. Uh, because, you know, no Patreon, no any way of donation. And of course, the notification bell if you want to be notified when my new video comes out. And as always, thanks for watching, and I hope to see you guys in the new video. Peace out, and have a great week.